Hey, what's up, YouTube? I haven't made any videos for a while because I've been doing a lot of thinking about everything that's going on. I've <clears throat> been reading quite a bit, studying. Apparently, tomorrow is the last of the three shams of debates. Disgusting to see these two people on stage. I can't hold it back any longer. I have no clue why so many people, pastors included, are believing that Donald Trump, just because his last name is Trump, is the last final Trump, you know, talked about in the Bible. God may have handpicked him to fight against the dastardly, evil, New World Order, elites, globalists, etc., I've thought long and hard about it, and uh, I've been around long enough and seen this guy long enough that I think he's a scumbag just like Hillary Clinton. What I'm showing you right now is simply type in Donald Trump playing golf with Bill Clinton. So you heard him bring up Bill Clinton's sex life, you know, and have the lady seated and calling him a rapist and all this jazz. By the way, I heard Alex Jones is paying people 5000 bucks to uh, apparently come out publicly and say he's a rapist. I don't know if they have to have a story to go along with it. I imagine they they do. I don't see how it would hold if they just said he was a rapist. But there are ladies getting paid, and there's probably ladies getting paid by the Clintons to say things about him. It's all scripted, folks. Believe me. If I had two Corvettes, one was red and one was blue, and I said, hey, you want to drive one of my Corvettes? And you said, sure. I said, which one would you like to drive? And you said, I'll take the red one. Would it matter to me? I own them both. So it wouldn't matter whether you took the red or the blue one. It would only make you feel better that you got to choose which one you like better. Same thing with these people. You got a red one and a blue one. You got a him and a her. And you seem to be oblivious that they own both of them. It's only going to pacify you to be more satisfied that you, under the illusion that you get to choose which one. As you can see, there he is. There's Clinton. There's the group photos. There's the big... D out there swinging away. So, if he thinks he's a rapist and all this crap, I don't care if it's a charity tournament or, or what. If you think somebody's a scumbag, you don't want to hang out with them, pose for photos with them, etc., would you? You'd make sure you played a hole behind them or something, wouldn't you? Or so that's what you would think in a normal world. Well, let's see. Um, what's this one? Oh, Michael Bloomberg. Posing with this one, Mr. Trumpo, and the big B. What's Bloomberg? Is he a billionaire? Yeah. It's the uh, Billionaire Club. See the big smile on the old Donald's face? All oh, chummy. Yeah, we're chums. We're buds. See, the cameras ain't rolling. There might be some pictures taken, but it's not live video. Well, let's look at this here. Hey, this is the Big D's wedding, isn't it? Guess who's at the wedding? Oh, it's the one that he called evil with so much hate in her heart. Yeah, and there's the rapist, right? Yeah. And they just look happy as can be hanging out together, huh? But you think these people ain't friends? They are. 
They're just putting on a show in front of the cameras for you. I'm sticking behind what I said years ago. Said it many, many times in, in the videos I discussed it. I, I've already said they said years years ago who they, they picked in advance. And I truly believe they picked in advance Hillary Clinton. Now let's talk about the old Billy Bush audio revelation, the supposed locker room banter of Trump. Okay, this conversation occurs in 2005. Why are we just hearing it now then? You're telling me they just stuffed it in the old file cabinet and just forgot about it and said, oh, wait a minute. He just happens to be running now, and we can use that against him. Oh, no. They planned that far backwards, if not farther, who these people placed in front of us at this particular time are going to be. That's why you never heard about that until now. Because they didn't need to bring it out till now. All right? <clears throat> And everybody says, well, it, you know, it was this private conversation. He didn't know it was being made. Blah, blah, blah. Look, when the camera's on, they're all playing the script and, and acting. When the camera's off, and we can't see or hear, that's when you find out who they really are. So when he had that conversation back then, That's how he was was telling he, how he really does. And he may not do it anymore. I don't know. That was 11 years ago. But at least 11 years ago, he was describing how he did what he would do. You can blow it off if you want and say, I don't believe it. That's your prerogative. You can blow it off and say you don't believe anything that Bill Clinton did with women too. That's also your prerogative. You're being played like suckers, once again. I want someone to show me Scripture that in the end times years, anywhere in the end times, it says that things will get better for this world during those times and into the tribulation because I'm not reading it I'm not finding that the only time it gets better is when Jesus returns and defeats the evil and we have some really heavy stuff going on right now Things are getting ready to swing farther for the worse. They're just disguising it. You know, they're calling good things bad, and they're calling bad things good. You know, we pretty well turned our back on God, and while, while I've got this thought going, I've said it before. This man has said, and that's as far as he'd go with it, he would appoint conservative Supreme Court judges and we would revisit Roe Ro versus Wade and reverse it. However, he gave three instances of where it would still be legal to kill an unborn soul in the womb of the mother. And that was if the mother's life was in jeopardy or if she was raped or if there was incest. So he still opens the door for three opportunities to kill unborn life and deny it the chance of being born regardless of circumstance. All life is sacred in the eyes of our Father and our Lord Jesus. There is no circumstance where that life should be extinguished. None. Zero. Not justifiable in any case scenario. Period. 
So if you think this man is going to do something about killing little kids in the womb, you just ain't seeing it. Because he ain't going to do nothing about it. And this guy wants to rant about Mexico. You, you remember what he said about Mexico? Oh, they're taking our jobs. Blah, blah, blah. But then he, you know, he's asked the question, well, how come your clothing line's made in Mexico? Well, his response was, well, we can't afford to make it up here. Wages and benefits are too high. What's that mean to you? That means he went to somewhere cheaper where he could make a profit, more of a profit. Bada bing. That's the art of the deal for a guy that come from money with a silver spoon placed in his mouth, never wanted for nothing, and he's raised his children the same way. How about the picture frames? Well, they're made over in like a India or somewhere. Yeah, so he's doing the same thing with cheap labor over there. Hey, didn't you brag about building the, the, the biggest bank in communist China? That's a question unto itself. You know, you would think the Chinese would build their own bank. I mean, they had the labor force and the materials and such. So why did they pay Trump and his people all the money to build their bank? Hmm. Better think about that one really good. He took money from communists. This whole thing is, is, a, is an absolute joke. Both of these people. It doesn't matter who they put in office. I'm still putting my bet on that one right there. Her. <clears throat> and we're done. We're, we are a ghost of the country that we were. You know, we've kicked God out of everything except our individual hearts. You know, we, we're trying, they're trying to erase him from Daily lives, memories, teachings, etc. The founders, the framers of our nation, our constitution, separation of church and state was never meant to separate church and state. What it was meant to do was keep the government from telling you what religion you had to worship and practice. It was meant to keep the government from interfering with what faith you wanted to practice. It wasn't meant to keep it separated out of the function of government. See, that's part of the brainwash that, that they've rubbed into everyone where they believe it's supposed to be separated. There's no place for it in there. Wrong. You got it wrong. Revisit it. Re-educate yourself. And understand, it was meant to keep government from pushing you into what you wanted to worship, who you wanted to worship, how you wanted to worship. But we have to, uh, we have to pray to our Father and our Lord Jesus during this whole time, because they're the only ones that are going to help us. That is the alternative selection. That is the third party, our Father in heaven. And our Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. We can select a third party and ask Him to take care of us when one of these scumbags, probably her, takes office behind the scumbag who's going to lead. Because we are heading off the edge of the cliff. There's no d doubt about it. We don't have a lot longer to go before shit is really going to hit the fan and splatter all over the place. So pray for the world, pray for its peoples, get right with our Lord. God bless every one of you. Open your eyes, see the light.